Okay guys, it's me, Kusama Unlimited. I'm back doing the Six Feather Pain Challenge. It's been about two weeks since I did one. I'm all ready, I'm all spiced up, I'm ready to do it. There are six rules. Fail against any path, it's game over. It's an endurance challenge, you have to always remember that. Rule number two, if you rage quit against the challenge, I will not upload it and I will most likely not let you challenge me again. Rule number three, rematches are only allowed after your game has been uploaded because a lot of people want to take the challenge and it's only fair that almost everybody gets their shot. Rule number four, the segment has to get 375 likes, 375 likes for it to continue. That's all it is, click a button. Rule number five, I only use Dev Pro and Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, that's it. And the new rule of the challenge is you must switch decks per round, just like me. So technically to challenge me, you'll need six decks to come up with because this has been added to avoid troll players zodia burn because i'm not gonna lie if you're just gonna grind and stall me i don't even want to be bothered so this has been added to avoid that yeah well you can go ahead and have your six stinking decks because all i need is this one now let's start this Sorry that this game isn't as long as my others, but since all my previous replays had to get scrapped, I have to come up with some new ones, and this is the best one I have so far. So I'm going up against uh, Max Fighter, I think your name is, All right, and he's using like Destiny heroes with the new masked heroes, and I'm like, this is pretty interesting because I like how he comboed off Malicious with Mass Chain, bring out Dark Law, and was able to get off Shadowmas effects with Tin Goldfish. I was like, hmm, not bad. I mean, I really take, you know, a lot of pride in that because with me and my Vigilante deck, I mean, I really have pushed my heroes to like a good point. You make my heroes honestly look pretty bad, and I really respect that. I remember like, not every day you can see a real creative hero build and really be like, ooh, I'm impressed because you always see Bubble Beat, Hero Beat, not even funny anymore. So, I wanted to just get Dark Claw out of the way, but I lost all my materials, and I always end up getting stuck with Zombri, and I'm like, why do I always get stuck with this motherfucking card with nothing to fucking grab back? That's why I actually, in my Constellar deck, I've actually bumped down Zombri from 3 to 2 because of how much I tend to draw him firsthand, and he's just completely dead to me. He's just a very bad card to open up with. So right off the bat, he's doing uh, mass charge, and he's getting Britain that shadow mess back, and he's malicious. And I'm like, that's so creative how he could like just go into Dark Lord like that, because malicious is like, so easy, and then he could save the shadow mess. I'm like, I, I like that. I like that, because you could obviously use it for XYZ plays, and I'm like, not bad. And I mean, if I wasn't so preoccupied with the hands in my hero build, I would probably be like doing something very similar, because this is like a very good, very good, very creative, and I really like it. And I, I'm the kind of person, when, when I see someone that goes to the effort to be different, I really, really respect it. At this point, he was gonna just go for game, and the best that I could possibly do was just Fiendish Chain Plasma, but then I was like, I was originally wanting to save the Plasma, uh, ugh, save the Fiendish Chain for Dark Law, but it was the best that I could do under my situation. At this point, I was hoping I'd draw like at least like another level 4 that I could do an Extinction Knight. Couldn't do it, I lost it, so at this point, I was like pretty screwed, as you can see. But it was a fun game, and now to go into the next round. Round six. So the next round, I am using spirits, and I've been using spirits like with the new like ghost trick engine. I remember I saw Jeff Jones do it, and I was like, eh, I like it, but I'm trying out a lot of different things because I wanted to mix spirits with something to make them viable. So it's like currently I'm mixing spirits with ghost tricks, which has been done already, which I'm not so fond of because I like to be different. So the one thing I've been doing is I've been trying my hardest to basically merge like a lot of the individual old spirits like shit like Yamada Dragon because that's something I used to play as a kid and I think Yamada Dragon's a really good card especially if you because if you're just using something like spirits Yamada Dragon's kind of pointless 
Because if you, you all these spirits go back to your hand and you have a big cloggy hand, so why even play something like Yamada if your hand's already full? But if you're playing a deck like this and you run out of your consistency plays pretty easily, and Nikki Tama makes that shit a bit easier. So I was like, oh, and I draw our Tom, I'm like, great top deck, and I'm like, now I'll play, you know, Kage True Kage, and then I'm like, I think I go for the Bobble Chain here. I'm, I'm not curious. Oh, oh. Oh, and then I played like my BLS. I think at this point, because I remembered. Me with Heraldic Beasts are bad because I tend to have bad matchups against Heraldic Beasts, so I did not want to like risk it. I was just pretty worried, so I just knew to just banish everything so art would not work and none of them would get their effects, and I would just continue just like beating them down and beating them down. And that was pretty much like my A game and my plan just to like to do this. So at this point in time, he I think he just like gave up at this point, and I just like swung for game, and that's pretty much the end of this duel. And yeah, because I attacked with VLS. Game over. Thank you guys for watching. I know this isn't much of a game, but I'm gonna get more games stocked up in the future. So for now, it's just this small thing. Like I said, show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Subscribe to Underground. Me and Spidey are trying to get 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. The lucky person that won a free pack from the last video from liking. And because if you like, you could also win a free pack of Primal Origins if you're luckily enough picked out by my randomizer that I pick out. If you want to take the challenge, my username is UndergroundYGO. Also, don't forget to check out my friend Pika Power 22's uh, challenge because he did one last week and if his segment just gets 300 likes he'll continue doing his uh, challenge with my challenge kind of like what me and Spidey did with the Spotty Spotlight and the Six Path of Pain challenge and then at the end of the format I'll throw all my six decks at his decks and it'll be a big blowout again I mean you guys don't have to go back to his video and like it but I think his is only like 40 likes away from hitting 300 and it's to give you guys a big blowout challenge at the end of the format. Giving you guys something to look forward to at the end of a format. It's up to you guys if you want to see something nice. So, other than that, see you guys later. Challenge me on Dev when you see me. I'm mostly on for, uh, because I live in New York and I roughly am on from maybe the time span of 9 to 2 in the morning? Sometime around that. I'm not always on, but if I am, it's naturally around a time like that. Comment below how you felt about the game. See you next Sunday. The video gets 375 likes. Bye.